Hey guys, what's up? It's Geo Two Meister, and we're about to watch a death battle: Raiden versus Wolverine. Now I know a few things about Wolverine, but nothing about Raiden. You know anything about Wolverine? Or Raiden? I know a couple things about Raiden, but I don't know about Wolverine. What is Raiden from anyway? Mortal Kombat. No, not that Raiden. Different Raiden. Oh, Raiden. Different Raiden. Uh, I don't know that. Oh, all right. Then we know nothing. You want to place a bet? <laughs> you want to know anything about the per characters? All right. Well, I'm gonna place uh, place my bet on Raiden because I just know the name. That's a good <laughs> enough reason. I'm bound. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm doing Wolverine. What do you want to bet? Um. Uh, I don't know. What are you thinking? We'll bet thirty dollars. Thirty dollars sounds good to me. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll also, also whoever loses has to shave their head and their must and their beard. Bet. My beard. Yes. Well, now let's get personal. <laughs> All, All right. right. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Let's start. I got. What the hell is going on here? Okay, that. But there's just something special about chilling up close and personal with a blade. Like Wolverine, the vicious anti-hero of the X-Men. And Raiden, the deadly cyborg ninja from Metal Gear. Oh, right. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. Oh, yeah. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who will win a death battle. <laughs> yes, he's good. Wolverine. Three stretches, three claws. This is the mark of the Wolverine. But before he was the poster boy of the X-Men, he was born James Howlett in 1886. <laughs> and he was the wimpiest kid ever. He was tiny and pathetic and sick all the time, but little James wasn't stuck in bed for too long. As he grew up, James started to develop mutant powers, which gave him animal senses and rapid healing. But when the family groundskeeper Thomas Logan murdered his father, James learned he had a more lethal power hidden within Retractable bone claws? Old Thomas never knew what hit him, or more specifically, what stabbed him to death. But Thomas used his dying breath for the oh so original plot twist I'm your father. Going from two dads to zero in a matter of seconds. Mm. Anyway, James took on the name Logan to poorly hide his identity and ran away from home with his childhood friend Rose. But then he accidentally stabbed her to death, too. Damn, those things seem really inconvenient. Like a murder erection, always popping up when you least expect it. Wait, he just you should erection. probably see yes, a doctor. Wow. Yeah. With oh, his man. healing ability slowing his aging, <laughs> Logan has lived over 100 years. He fought in both World Wars and Vietnam before joining a special weapons project called Weapon X. This is where he took the name, the Wolverine. But like almost every other secret project ever, it was actually yet another horrifying super soldier project. Whilst there, Wolverine enjoyed such treatments as being cut open repeatedly, having his DNA harvested, and getting his skeleton a pimped out chrome job. Against Logan's will, a scientist named Dr. Cornelius infused his bones with adamantium, oh. a rare man-made metal alloy. Adamantium is extremely dense and stable on a molecular level, making it reportedly indestructible. Even Thor has a hard time breaking it. And Dr. Scientist also hypnotized Wolverine to erase his memories and turn him into an animalistic killing machine. The result? Well, Wolverine went Just crazy and slaughtered everyone that. in Weapon X. Yeah. So I guess you could say the know. experiment turned out I'm to be a complete success. Good job, everybody. Good for you. Okay, that moment was badass. I will admit that. That moment was badass. Angel, I thought after wandering the wilderness Wolverine and tangling with the Hulk, yeah. Wolverine was eventually discovered by the X-Men, who molded him into a I mean, real I, hero. I don't get the comments. Logan had finally found a place yeah. to call home, and yeah. a family yeah. did yeah. not accept him. Gold Wolverine's got more yeah. mutant powers than Kim Kardashian has butt injections. He has keen animal-like senses and expert tracking skills, can move faster than the eye can see, and can lift up to two tons. His adamantium claws can cut through almost anything and conveniently he never has to sharpen them. He's immune to disease, can resist mind control, and can fight for days without tiring. Oh, and for some reason he can sense animals' feelings and talk to them. Like some sort of bear whisperer. 
He's equal in hand-to-hand -hand combat with Captain America, and was skilled enough to tag Speed Demon, who runs faster than the speed of sound. Despite all of this, his greatest attribute is his sheer durability. He's like Super Rocky. Wolverine has oh, survived is... hits from Thor wow. and the Hulkbuster, battled with Satan himself, yeah. and yeah. was once blown we'll up with back nothing anyway. left yeah. but his yeah. adamantium yeah. skeleton. Yeah. Makes sense. Think that yeah. stopped him? Hell no! He got back up and beat the ever-living shit out of the emo bomber man who blew him up in the first place. Mm. Jesus Christ! Can anything stop this guy? Well, technically he has died a few times. He even used to have a deal with the Angel of Death to be resurrected should his healing factor ever be overtaxed. But eventually he gave it up in exchange for his soul. Yeah, this actually happened. Oops. However, according to Professor Xavier, leader of the X-Men, Wolverine's healing factor stems from his brain. Huh? Get it? Stem? Like, brainstem? Whiz, I'm the funny one. Just stick to being boring. Aww. <laughs> uh, anyway, this means Wolverine can be killed by drowning or destroying his brain. But seeing as his brain's protected by a thick adamantium skull, it's probably staying where it is. Still, there's a reason why Logan keeps getting into bad situations like these. He's a lone wolf and doesn't like relying on others. And he's got a bit of a temper. <laughs> Hey. Tell Cyclops I made him a convertible. Piss him off too much! Something snaps and Wolverine will enter the Berserker Rage. In this state, Wolverine loses all self-control and ignores all pain, as he is consumed by the animalistic killer instinct instilled deep within him by Dr. Cornelius all those years ago. <laughs> So. Okay. Born in Liberia, a young boy named Jack lost his parents and was adopted by George Sears, the future president of the United States. Which sounds like a pretty good upside considering, except Sears was actually solid as Snake, a traitor who manipulated world leaders to profit from the war economy. So this is oh, and the fact that he killed yeah, Jack's yeah. parents. So I'm your dad now. Being the perfect parent he is, Solidus enlisted Jack in the Liberian Civil War, where he became captain of his own commando unit in the Army of the Devil. It's an army of... Not an actual army of devils. Ah, oh, damn it. A natural harbinger of death, Jack's high kill count earned him the nickname Jack the Ripper. He accomplished all of this, and he was only ten years old. Oh my god, could you imagine this kid during puberty? If it ever even hits. I mean, even ten years later, he still looks like he's waiting for the old stones to drop. Well, they had to sometime. After being abandoned by Solidus, Jack fell for a girl named Rose and eventually got her pregnant. Jack was tormented by his past life and sought to right his wrongs by joining a special task force. With them, he teamed up with the legendary Solid Snake to take down some bad guys, destroy giant robots, go streaking, and even kill dear old Buster Dad. All under his awesome new code name, Raiden. Except all along, he was actually being controlled by the Patriots a secret organization manipulating the U.S. from behind the scenes and bent on dominating the world. Yeah, okay, hang on to your butt, because this is where things start getting out of hand. See, his girlfriend Rose was actually a Patriot spy and was manipulating his life the entire time they were together. <sighs> Women, right? But she was all like, my bad, I love you. And he was right like, it's gay, okay, let me put my dick in you. And then they had a kid. Yeah. Well, first she actually said she had a miscarriage and married another man to trick Raiden, but it was really to trick the Patriots. Wait, please, the story is confusing enough without bringing that into this. Eventually, they got back together and had a kid. Can we please go back to talking about killing people now? Yes, sure. Right. One day he was captured by the Patriots yeah, and used as a test subject for exoskeletal enhancement surgery, transforming him into a superhuman cyborg ninja. That's what I'm talking about! As a cyborg, Raiden went from a force to be reckoned with to a nigh-unstoppable killing machine. He is fast enough to outrun bullet trains and even run on walls. And he can do shit like this. You too, immortal. No, I just don't fear death. <laughs> Yeah. Drugs no. must be fun. 
That's no. not even the half of it. Yes. Right in is strong enough to no. lift and throw a Metal Gear Ray. While a Ray's exact weight is unknown when compared to a Metal Gear Rex that weighs 557 tons, we can oh, estimate its weight to be over 1,000 tons. And that wasn't even his final form! Well, right, right in effect, we got a newer, better cyborg body, which is even more powerful. Strong enough to flip this giant thing, rip off its building sized sword, and then fight a duel with it! And finish it off at blinding speed! I mean, what in the actual hell? When he's not wielding building sized blades, Raiden really wields a high frequency blade the called the Murasama. Originally forged in the 16th century, the Murasama was re outfitted with high frequency technology. By creating a powerful current through the blade that vibrates at intense speeds, it weakens its target's molecular bond, forcibly slicing through almost anything. And if that's not deadly enough for you, Raiden can activate a super mode called Zendatsu. This causes Raiden's perception of time to slow anywhere from 50 to 90 percent, giving him plenty of time to chop through his foes as precisely or as rapidly as he'd like. He can take this a step further by deactivating his pain inhibitors. Allowing intense agony from wounds to envelop his senses causes him to lose himself in his old Jack the Ripper personality. This Ripper mode radically boosts his already insane speed and strength. But it comes at a price, you know, aside from the whole pain and sanity thing. <laughs> These enhanced modes rely on a fuel supply, and using them burns through it at a rapid pace. Riding can only carry enough fuel to sustain these modes for a very limited time, and relies on absorbing more fuel cell electrolytes from enemy cyborgs. Plus, his blood is not natural, and must be changed regularly, like the oil in a car. But still... I'm lightning. The rain transformed. Worth it. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle. Uh, that moment is fine now. What reason would they be fighting? They don't, they don't even believe for why they fight. Maybe. Just to see who's stronger. No, 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 no,
you some kind of cyborg? Well, my bones are kind of the strongest metal around. Does that count? Say the cyborg is really hard to kill in the world. Oh, he just took a sword too. stayed in there, but uh, at the end, that sword is too strong. Uh, yeah, I will accept my loss with dignity. And I will shave my beard with dignity. Yeah, you better. <laughs> I get to keep this. Uh, <laughs> that nice on the camera, yeah. Uh, it, it's all good anyway. I need to shave this beard anyway. So, it's all good. It happens. But, anyway, I guess, I'll, guess we'll bring you back for the next step that would hurt you. Yeah. I'll, I'll probably win, bet on Hercule. Well, I guess I don't know who his opponent is. Yeah, yeah, it depends. Yeah, we'll find out. I'll find out. We'll find out about like two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah, like like um, they do this uh like Her Hercule sells the death battle thing preview, then they'll do his next opponent for the preview, and then that's the third week that's when it's about. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but yeah, we will see you there, Brian. Sure this, thing. By the way, Thank this, you by, for way by the way, this is Ryan. <laughs> we should have gone to hey. with that, but yeah, he will be back <laughs> in the next video. But until then. See you guys later. Peace.